Welcome along to our video tutorial series where we are learning how to create Minecraft worlds using Python code. Now in today's video tutorial I'm going to keep things fairly simple. Uh, what we're going to be doing is basically clearing our Minecraft world off so that we've got a blank canvas with no mountains, no water, anything like that. We're just going to have a flat grassy surface. Alright, so to get started on creating this blank canvas, what we need to do is write in the usual first two lines of code. So from mcpy.minecraft, um, we need to import the asterisk, which says import all. Uh, so what that's doing is basically importing all the functions from the Minecraft library. That allows us to basically create worlds using code. Next thing I'm going to do is write mc equals minecraft with a capital M and then write dot create and open and close a set of brackets and that just gets the Python editor here called mu talking to the minecraft pi edition. Alright so once we've got those two lines of setup out of the way what we're going to do is we're going to first of all fill our world with blocks of air. Now there is a block, if I just go over to my block ID list here Apologies for the lag. The very first block we can use here, it's block number zero, it's air, it's an invisible block. So basically when we put that into our world, it's going to wipe out all the mountains, all the ground, the trees and whatnot, and just have air sitting there. So let's have a look at how to do that. We learned in the previous video how to set multiple blocks into our world. Well, we're going to do the same again here. So first thing I'm going to put in is a thing called a comment which says air. All a comment is, is plain simple English that explains to people who are reading your code what's actually happening in your code. And the way you write a comment is just put a comment, oh, sorry, a hashtag before whatever it is you write. Okay, the computer knows when it sees a hashtag, that line there is not actually code. It's just plain simple English explaining what's happening in the code. So it skips straight past it and the computer doesn't even read it. Alright, so we're going to put some air in. We do it the same way as what we learned in the previous video when we are setting multiple blocks into our world. We need to use the set blocks function. Okay, and what we're going to do first of all is tell the computer the starting coordinates, where we would like to start drawing this air into our world. So I'm going to start at the coordinate minus 200 for the x-axis, 0 for the y-axis oops, and minus 200 for the z-axis. Okay, Once we are in our starting position we need to now tell the computer where we would like these blocks of air to finish off. So I'm going to go 200 across on the, uh, the x-axis so it starts at minus 200 and goes all the way across to 200. I'm then going to go 100 blocks into the sky, so that's the y-axis. It starts at zero at ground level and goes 100 blocks into the sky. So that should hopefully wipe out all the mountains and trees that you see. And then for the z-axis, I'm going to do the same as what I did on the x. I'm going to go across to 200. So we started at minus 200. We're going to go all the way across to 200 on our z-axis. And remember, finally, just put in the number zero. That number zero is just telling the computer we're using a block of air for this bit of code. If we close our bracket there and save this, I'll just go to my Minecraft code folder. I'm going to call this number four. And it's going to be clearing the world. And save it. If I give that a run, let's see what happens here. This could take a little while, could be a little bit laggy, but as you can see, all those blocks of air now have come in and basically cleared our world. It looks a little bit ugly still on the ground because we haven't put our grass down yet, but we don't have any more mountains or any more trees around in our world. Okay, so that is a good start. The next line of code is fairly similar, but this time we're adding grass in, okay, not blocks of air anymore. So let's start the same way as we just did by writing mc.setBlocks. Remember the S on the end because we're adding multiple blocks of grass to our world. 
Let's start um, our grass blocks at minus 200 again, like we just did. And we're going to start three blocks below our current position. So this is position zero where we're at now in Minecraft. We're going to build three steps below this current position. So if we do dig into the ground, we're still going to see a bit of grass. And for our z-axis, we'll start at minus 200. Whoops, like we did above as well. Okay, now we've got our starting three coordinates in, the X, the Y, and the Z. What we need to do now is put our finishing coordinates in. So kind of similar to what we just did. 200 is going to be our finishing X coordinate. 0 is going to be our finishing Y coordinate. So that's at ground level. And 200 is going to be our finishing coordinate um, on the Z axis. Now the number for grass that we need to put in to tell the computer we're building with the grass block is the number 2. Put that in, close your bracket, give it a run, and you should see now that all this ground will turn into grass. It will take a while, it's going to be a bit laggy, but there it is. As you can see, we've pretty much got grass as far as the eye can see. So you've got yourself now a blank slate, basically. You can draw whatever you want in this world and make your own world up. This is going to come in handy if you're in my class for your assignment where you get to create your own world. What I like to do is put this little um, snippet of code that clears the world at the start of all of my programs. That way every time I run it, I'll always have a blank canvas. So any mistakes I've made will get wiped out and then I have the rest of my code that comes in below here. Alright, so that's how you clear your world in Minecraft, to give you a blank slate, ready to create your own worlds from scratch.